Hornet zero. Golf R, one. All right, you guys were asking for part two. We are back at my buddy Alex's house. He's got the hornet's nest. Last time we failed the Type R. Beautiful car, great for on the road. Way too low, too nice, don't wanna tear it up. So we brought this jack of all trades car right here. There is nothing that this car cannot do. And here's some tools on this car that's gonna help us get this job done today. One, CJM Industry splitter, chassis mounted. I've literally pushed a dumpster with this. It is beefy, you can pretty much stand on the thing. Awesome. Second, we've got our hella lights down here. Super bright and aimable. So we can aim those up at that bee nest, wasp's nest, hornet's nest. I think they're actually bald faced hornets after our research that we've done. Also, come get a look at some of this carnage. We are planning on some potentially dangerous situations here to get these hornets done. And you don't want to scratch up your nice fancy car. So you bring old trusty that's already been flipped upside down. What's the worst that can happen? We need to get some more tools though. This is only part of the situation. And we're gonna have to run down the street to our local fireworks shop and see what's going on. You can't tell right now, I'm literally just doing laps around a peanut shaped roundabout. It's ridiculous. We considered lots of different options for taking this nest out. We got a lot of good suggestions. Practicality has to come in at some point. Last turn of our peanut here. <laughs> Flyer's fun, but we don't want to burn the barn down. No. It's Alex's actual garage. This isn't like an abandoned barn or anything like that. So we don't want to do that, uh -uh. but it would be fun. It would be very fun. Probably the highest suggested thing was using a power washer. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and tested that. This is how that went. All right, there's a hornet back there. Got the power washer. We're gonna kill him. Here we go. <laughs> that did not go well for Alex. It was not comfortable. No, it's not sucked. a good situation. Sucked. Moving on from that, some of you suggested fireworks. So we got on the interwebs, did a little YouTubing. Fireworks seem to be very effective. Very. Very effective against Total Hornets. annihilation. And also, you don't have the fire factor necessarily. So, we're running down the road, just a few miles. It's divine intervention. There is a prism fireworks. Right like, around, like a mile and a half. And they're open till 9 p.m. So we're going there for a bunch of M80s, hopefully some long wick. Fuse. We're gonna have to get creative fuse, wick, it's whatever. Not a yeah. yeah, okay, my bad. We've got a little gantry system we've got planned. No idea how it's actually gonna work out. And we're gonna take the golf R. We're gonna take out that Hornet's nest. A few minutes later. Son of a gun. Will open in May. Dude, they literally had a sign out like yesterday. I said open when I drove by. That sign doesn't look very old. Uh, we're not doing fireworks. Plan B. E. Or is it B? No, oh, this is plan B. Two very boring minutes later. Here we go. We originally just got this B suit as a prop, but it's a real B suit and Prism is literally closed. We did not plan on that. We really wanted to blow this thing out. Said they were open. Said they were open. The BC was also gonna be like for like post explosion cleanup. But unlike this video just being for fun, Alex really needs that hornet's nest gone. He's gotta put some firewood in there. So we are going to use the cheap bar. These lights are so bright and they're aimed up at the sky. They're gonna light the way for brave Alex here to test out this Amazon bee suit. Amazon? Yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna give it a five-star review. Of it. I, uh, he's got the gloves, but he's he chose to wear Crocs because he wanted quick ejection if they get inside. I'm not even putting the four-wheel drive on. We're gonna pull out around. We're gonna light this situation up. He's gonna go in there with a couple different containers and then we're probably gonna burn them. We're gonna just wing it. We don't know what's gonna happen. Here we go. How you feeling, buddy? I don't like this at all. Jake is bringing the car around, as you can see right there. I am in this bee suit terrified i've got this garden hoe then we got a metal trash can we will see what happens but i don't have high hopes for this also we read online that you can potentially get stung through multiple layers so yeah that'll be fun jake is currently getting the car in position he is right here yep so he's got the car in position is he ready? I, I'm right with you, dude. Right through this glass. He's here in spirit. Yes, here we go. What do you think of all this hornets, dude? 
Dude, I am not liking this. This is scarier now that I'm up close. Well, dude, it's time to go. You gotta get these out of here. Get that lid off and go uh, get it done. All right, so here we go. Here we so go. the plan is, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that underneath the hornet's nest. I got armed with wasp spray, so hopefully that kind of keeps them in the nest a little bit. And then we're gonna try to knock it off. Oh, this is sketch. Here he goes. <laughs> All right, hey, you know, while we're in here, let's just see, let's see what our cool attempts are. Oh, he's. So you can kind of see, it looks like I got the foam in here and uh, they can't get out. So this is the killer. This is actually working halfway decent. I haven't got stung yet, but they are everywhere. So I'm gonna put this on the car over here. So now we gotta get this underneath here. Oh, this is sketchy. Dude, you should put the camera down somewhere and then just focus. I am working on it. The things we do for you guys. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I do not envy him right now. <laughs> oh man, here we go. They're coming out now. Oh boy. Hold on, need wasp spray. They're coming out when I push against it, it's squeezing out. Dude, I'm telling you, put the trash can against the roof and just scrape it. Well, I'm trying it. No, dude, put the whole trash can up there, just scrape it over and slam the lid on. You'll get all of them. Easier said than done. I kid you not, I'm in this car. Look, I'm protected in the golf R. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to roll this window down yet. I want to get further away first. They aren't flying around. Well, you got them all really easy. I wouldn't say really easy. Oh my gosh, dude. My heart was racing. Dude, up. my heart is racing. Oh my heel is exposed. Hopefully, oh, my wasp didn't get in my, my pantaloons. So now we got to figure out what to do with that. Gasoline and yeah. Something with gas. Uh, uh, now, I think it's Jake's turn to put on the bee suit and light this puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, how the turns have tabled. I have, I have that, uh, oh. that seal. Like, My blood pressure just went up. It's not bad, honestly. I know, but it still sucks. All right. I guess it's my turn. All right, I'm facing one of my legit childhood fears. Hate stinging insects. But you did, you did your job. Even though this is your house, I'm a team player. You got the hive captured. Now I'm gonna go destroy it. We're gonna kill it with fire. Kill him fire. Okay, I am just freaking scared to death right now. I've got some gas, I've got a torch, I've got a little lighter thing. Here we go. Just crack the lid, pour some in, then you can do the lighting. You got it.
Gosh, dude, I'm I'm not kidding. I was literally like trying to open the lid. I I could not overcome my fear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, that thing is huge. Bro, look at that. Catch my suit on fire. Oof. Oh gosh, dude. Oh, I lost my lost my color. <laughs> Dude, I, I honestly, like, I just, I, I'm, like, geeked out right now. I feel weird. I, it's not even funny. Did you, did you feel the uh, vibration from that kid? Dude, I could hear them pinging on the lid. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even joking, man. Like, that, that is horrifying. <laughs> You're like, I want to make sure they're dead. Yeah, that's right. Woo! <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Surprised that thing hasn't gone poof. You gonna throw it in the trash can? <laughs> so they get me all messed up, man. Well, you face your fears. We got her, dude. Fist bump on camera, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, all thanks to, you know, it wasn't us. It was the Gulf R. It's the Gulf R. Okay, we got Alex in here for the uh, post-op update. Just in case. Just in case. You know, you never know. Woo! Mission accomplished. Well, just like the old cheap R's life, this video didn't go quite the way we planned. Prism literally was open yesterday. They had an open sign up front. But also like the cheap bar, this video is about adapting and overcoming. Even though this was for fun, we were just gonna do this. I don't know, just, we kind of happened into this when I stumbled into that room one day. Alex really did need those hornets out of there. So we did what we had to do, got it done. Used the bee suit, even used the weird bee costume. <sighs> I have the heebie-jeebies still. But anyways, we'll try to find some more interesting things to do with this. Like, subscribe, share the videos. Come back for more. We'll see you next time.